He works in what's left of this woodworking shop here, but unfortunately this is just a lot more pine than he wanted to see today. And this actually is not the first time that a tree came crashing down on this property. Usually I'm in the shop at, the, at that hour. It was about 10, 30, 11 o'clock. Steve Purrington counting his blessings this evening that he wasn't inside of this woodworking shop in Wakefield when this massive pine tree came crashing down. It hurts. It, it does. It, it really hurts. I mean, that's that's where I spend a lot of my time. This tree trunk sits side by side to another one that snapped two years ago at the same height. That one dodged the homes here. This one did not. The tree is not dead. There's plenty of life in that tree. So it was the wind that actually forced it to snap. It's a similar scene across the entire area north of Boston, in Cambridge, in Reading, and in Hamilton. Trees down on homes and vehicles. On Plum Island and Newberry, the wind so strong it blew this plane off its ties, upside down, then back upright again. The wing left damaged. And in Linfield, this. And the whole house shook. I mean, I, I, I thought it was going to be, you know, bad. I didn't think it was going to be this bad. On Thwing Road, trees and debris piercing a hole in bedrooms and crushing cars. The cars are totaled. Uh, all three cars are totaled. I mean, I can't say I'm glad the way it turned out, but I'm glad it didn't get any, any worse than this. Yeah, remaining optimistic is the key, especially this holiday season. That's what everyone we spoke with today is doing, keeping optimistic, keeping in good spirits. Now, luckily, speaking of good spirits, the rain here has finally pretty much stopped. Now the cleanup process begins. Live in Wakefield, I'm Peter Eliopoulos, WCVB News Center 5.